What's up everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game, back with more Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD for Nintendo Wii U. Tonight, um, we, uh, let's see, last time we wore it, we got to Dragon Roost Island. Uh, we gotta get Din's Pearl, but there's a dragon problem, so we gotta talk to Prince Kamali now, alright. I don't know, it's like one thing led to another, so now we gotta talk to this guy, we gotta deliver a letter to him. Why are you just rubbing that? Is that the pearl that we needed? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna have to take that from you and you're just gonna have to be cool with it. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? What do you want from me, huh? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Oh, that's right, I gotta give him the letter. Uh, let's see. Here, take this. Letter? For my father? Oh sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who, who went through the horrible experience. It's not like he still has to get a scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. How am I in that letter now? I mean, he told me about the letter like the same time he met me. I mean, it's weird. Okay. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psh! That's a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what. If you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Kind of a dick, kid. Yeah, we were all like that at one point in our lives, I believe. Alright, so we gotta go to Dragon Roost, but that's okay. Dragon Roost, whatever, but that's okay because Medley wants us to go there, I believe. Uh, I think we go through this way. Wow, look at the beak on you, buddy. Yeah, I think we can go through this way. Yep, this is where we need to go. Alright, so let's jump down here. Hey, you actually came! I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place, I had to. I wouldn't- I wouldn't have asked you if, if I didn't need any help- help desperately. See this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. Then the Great Valu, he became so angry and, in his rage, he shook the mountain and his boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where's my mind? Tell me, how's Prince Kamali? He's being kind of a pill. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali has taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the Great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind of brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her, but, I, uh, but uh, if only I possessed some some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Tim, I'm sorry to ask you this, but I need your help. Really, everyone needs my help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near this near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that's but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some kind of, some wind under my wings, wink wink, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Sure. Phew, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Whoa, what? Pick me up, then face that ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Okay, so let's go over here. I'll wait for the wind to blow directly that way. Okay, now it's blowing to the right. You can see by the embers. Now it's going to the left. And now it's going straight ahead, thrower. Alright! We did it! Oh, thank you! I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. 
I may just be an apprentice, uh, apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the great Velu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but look, if anything happens to me, please look after Kamali. No, I am not looking after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but take it. I got a bottle. Actually, this is like one of the best things you can get in this game. <laughs> it's like, uh, carry every you can carry water, you can carry fairies, you can carry like healing items in it. I think you need it for a number of missions, so yeah, like the bottle's the best thing. Okay. Let's see, where's that there's that bottle? Put that to R and we'll take some of this water, because we're gonna need it in a second. Fill the bottle with water. Try pouring it on things. Also, it's water. You know, water thing that you use every day. Water! It's still useful. So take some of the water, and you can pour it on these bomb flowers to bring them back. And we can take a bomb, take a bomb, take a bomb, throw it. No, throw it. Oh, okay, it landed in the water. You want, you want to try to throw it on top of the rock. There you go. Now the spring fills up and we can get across the other side. So for the next part, we just take these bombs and we do a little bit of basketball. Oh. Okay, this is why I play video games and not basketball. <laughs> Got it. This one's a little bit trickier. Ah! Lava, it burns. How far did they send me back? Oh god, I gotta go all the way back. Okay. <laughs> okay, pick this up. Over here, throw. I'll get this, don't worry guys. Yep. Trying try to remember where I got a throat from exactly. Yep. Almost. Yep. There we go. All right. Now into Dragon Roost. Dragon Roost Cavern. All right, so as you can see, the first two, they look like they can be moved. The other one is kind of firmly in place. So pull this one out, obviously. Pull this one to the left. This is actually the first real dungeon in the game. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, and we got boss fight. Nice. Gotta stop doing that. Oh yeah, this pot, go ahead and jump into it now. It'll spit you right back out, but it can be useful in a minute. Why do I do that? Okay. 
Get one of these sticks, light it on fire, come over here. Light the torches. And then this thing appears. Secrets! Open up. And you get a key! Why do I do that? I'm just gonna remove the can- I can't remove the can. Dang, alright. Alright, so that's done. On to the next part. You can just break through this with the sword. And it is hot in here. <laughs> There's a locked door, remember that. We're gonna need a key to get through. And if you see anything like this, you can pull it out. Like so. Ah, boy! Thought I could make it in time, but I guess not. That hurt. I think we can find a heart in one of these. Nope. Okay. A little weird how there are just these skulls sp like sprawled out right there. Oh, not again. There we go. I kind of don't want to fight these things on the bridge because that rope is kind of the only thing holding the bridge up right now. Yeah, you can actually cut the rope on the bridge. And I think at one point you will need to do that in a certain quest. But right now, don't do it. Don't even think about it. Thought I told you not to think about it. <laughs> Alright, this part's fun. You throw the water to create a platform in lava. Because that's totally how la how lava works. Oh, come over here. Open this treasure chest, and we get a dungeon map. How did I know? Oh. Whoa. Gotcha. That is a choo choo. And whenever we destroy a choo choo, we get choo jelly. It's just goo that can be actually. I, I think it can be used to make potions or something. But that's for another time. I don't know why I did that. T Ow. Open. There we go. Now, I have a feeling something's gonna happen! I was right, technically. Alright. So, that part's done. Grab this sword. And we can use it to open this. This too. Ah! Two for the price of one. And we 
get a small key. Which we can use back at that one door we saw earlier. And we will be doing that next time, guys. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. we're not done yet. Alright, next time we're going to be opening that door. Uh, so, till then, I want to thank everyone so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays a Game. And, uh, oh boy. Uh, I think I got to open this with, uh, I got to throw one of these at it. On the bombs. Nope. Let me just do this real quick. Uh, yeah, make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays a Game. Stay tuned for more Legend of Zelda Wind Waker video, or, yeah, Wind Waker videos. Until then, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off. And have a good night.